Hi everyone, welcome to AWS Data Engineers Training Program. In today's class, we have clubbed few small topics which are like independent of each other and these four topics will be covering in today's class. So that is SNS, that stands for Simple Notification Service, SES, that is Simple Email Service, SQS, that is Simple uh, Queue Service and the last is ACM, AWS Certificate Manager. So these services are like independent and they do not have much significance independently but when they are working with some other uh, service then they make sense. For example, if you are uh, suppose your server is not running and at that point of time you want to send a notification. So SNS service can be in use. A notification is like very simple text message. On the other side, SES is a rich feature, you can say email service where you can attach HTML or at add some file as attachment and many more things. So we'll explore all these things practically. So let's start the class with the agenda. So overview of SNS, then we'll be creating some SNS topics and subscribers. We'll talk about SES service. SQS service, ACM service, create a SSL certificate and import a third party SSL certificate. All these things we'll be exploring in today's class. Okay. So SNS is a fully managed messaging service. not be going to a human being that may be going to another AWS service. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible, Neeraj. Like prior to this, like your voice, there is an echo with your voice as well. Okay, is it better now? Yes. Okay. So we were talking about two type of communication. One is application to application, which is mainly for message driven or you can say event driven applications. That the applications which are driven from some some messages. So for that one, it is good. And using SNS topics, your publisher can send messages to a large number of subscriber like SQS, Lambda functions, HTTPS endpoints. So we have a concept of publisher and subscriber. That means you will publish a message and whoever are the subscriber, there can be a variety of subscriber. Those can be email subscriber, those can be SMS uh, subscriber, those can be HTTPS endpoint or those can be any other AWS service. So all those will be getting the subscription altogether. Just like we suppose we have subscribed to Netflix. That means as in when they will release a new series or new movie, it will reach to all its members. So don't, they don't need to send it to each and every member separately because whoever are subscribed, they will automatically get it. The A2P functionality enables you to send messages to users at scale via SMS, mobile push and email. So let's do it. Then we'll get more clarity about this. So I'm opening my AWS console. I need to log in first. <coughs> Let me check the MFA code. 
So we'll search for S and S. Okay, so as you know that we have a concept of publisher and subscriber. So we have to create a topic first and on the topic, you can add more subscriber. So there is no topic as of now, as you can see. I will create one topic and you can see here first in first out or standard so first in first out means the message you will publish first will be delivered first that means if you are publishing some messages in a particular sequence those should be delivered in a particular sequence otherwise it may not make much sense for example you are retrieving or withdrawing money from your account and this one is your current uh, balance after withdrawal right after that after five minutes you again withdraw some more amount and then there is a new updated balance like that so those messages are in a particular sequence if you will send those messages in a different sequence that may create some confusion for example the initial balance was 10,000 and you withdraw 2,000 so the balance is 8,000 right after five minutes you again withdraw 3,000 and now the balance is 5,000 but if the second message is delivered to the customer as a first message, right? In that case, he or she will understand that there is a 3000 of withdrawal and the balance is 5000, which is not correct. Because if 3000 is withdrawal from 10,000, the balance should be 7K, not 5K, right? So the point is wherever you need to maintain the ordering, in that case, you should go with FIFO type of topic. Otherwise, in normal scenario, because these are like notifications and if you send in here and there in a different sequence, that is also fine. In that case, you can go with standard. In standard, you can see that best effort message ordering. It will still try to keep your messages in a particular sequence. Best, best possible efforts. But sometime 1% chances are there. The message can go here and there. And if you go with FIFO, strictly preserved message ordering, it will make sure that they will be delivering your message in the same sequence as they were published on your topic. Okay, so we'll go with standard one and now we'll choose some topic name. My first SNS topic. Display name optional. I mean, it's uh, if you want, you can provide. Otherwise, it's completely fine. There's an option of encryption because sending message directly without encryption can be risky. Someone can hack your connection and they can get to know about your uh, you can say messages. So, in order to avoid that, if you want to encrypt, you can enable the encryption. Otherwise, it's completely fine. If you don't want to enable, that is also not an issue. Okay, there are many more options, but those are optional. So we'll be clicking on create topic. Okay, now the topic has been created. And if you will publish the message to this topic, where it will go, it will not go anywhere because there is no subscriber as of now. So first of all, we have to add some subscriber. You can see here subscription zero. So we'll click on create subscription. And we have two topic ARN is same. I mean, that will automatically populate protocol. What type of subscription you want to add? So click on this drop down and you can see there are a lot of AWS services, Amazon Kinesis data firehose, SQS service, Lambda function, email, email JSON, HTTP, HTTPS, SMS. You can see that. So let's go with email. Okay. And now provide your email address. So I will provide my email address. So it will send a subscription message to your email and you have to confirm that. 
that means you cannot blindly add anyone email id you have to confirm that script subscription and then only it will be added to your sns topic so let's come down and we'll click on create subscription okay now if you go back to your topic and if you will check the subscription list you can see this one pending confirmation end point is nothing but email address the status is pending confirmation and the protocol the type of subscription is email so let's confirm this and after that you should be able to post some message here let me open my gmail Seems like we haven't received yet. Let me check. Spam. Okay. It came into spam. So that's fine. You click on this one and report not spam. Coming back to inbox where it went now okay so click on this and you can see this one you have chosen to subscribe to the topic so this is the complete ARN of your SNS topic which includes your AWS account number as well that means it's completely unique so to confirm this subscription click or visit the link below so you can just click on this and your subscription will be confirmed and this is one time activity you can see this one subscription confirmed if you want to unsubscribe you can click here or you can go back to your account and you can delete the subscription from there so let me refresh the page and it should update the status you can see now status is confirmed so we added one subscription of type email similarly you can add as many subscription as you want those can be of any other types also you can add a lambda function so whatever message you will pass from here that will be sent to your lambda and then lambda can decide what you want to do with that message okay now let me show you how to publish a message to a topic so click on publish message and enter some subject anything so test subject okay and then add some message <clears throat> temple message from sns okay, i'm just putting some sample message and <clears throat> will be sending it now you can apart from message if you want to send additional attributes which are not always required but sometime if you want to add some additional detail you can all this uh, add it from here and then click on publish message so it will go to all of your subscriber as of now only one subscriber is there that is of type email so we'll check whether we received this message or not so We haven't received okay it's coming in update section so you can see this aws notifications test subject and if you will open it you will find some message here <clears throat> you can see this one okay so this way you can create sns topics you can add subscriber and you can publish message to the topic and it will be delivered to all of your subscribers so with this one we are done with sns topic before we proceed, in case you are having any doubt, you can ask me. <clears throat>